Good afternoon and welcome to this new Aeroplastics Community webinar. Today we will talk in depth about a stretch film. For this, we will have the help of our Chile's wrap team from ASPLA. Before I introduce you to our team, I would like to tell you about uh, something about ASPLA. ASPLA is the biggest company in the Armando Alvarez Group, a 100% private company since we began, representing one of Spain's largest family-run companies with Cantabrian origin and international presence. Since 1964, the company has always been focused on quality and technology to offer uh, to their demanding customer products that fulfill their needs in packaging. They started the product group, AgriStretch, in 1994, with several product lines getting up to seven larger products. On the other hand, Ariplastics Community is Armando Alvarez Group's online platform, especially dedicated to farmers and growers, where we focus on providing valuable content for our readers. We also do frequent webinars on different topics related to agriculture. We have a podcast on Spotify, um, a YouTube channel with videos of interest to the sector and a large archive of publication on the web with news, trends, and valuable information in the agricultural world. I invite you to visit uh, us in ariplasticcommunity.com. About uh, our team, I want to introduce you Lesia and Greb. Lesia has been a part of the challenge uh, of the Silograss team since 2021. She has gained extensive knowledge about the burning process and she is specialized in agricultural stretch field. Her responsibility encompasses sales in, Europe, in European market countries, as well as marketing management with the department. Uh, Gregor uh, Kupra uh, joined ASPLA in 2015 and currently holds the position of K account manager in the agricultural stretch film division covering the northern, central, and eastern regions of Europe. His responsibilities encompass product management and customization based on market requirements, production, and innovation, with the aim of establishing a coordinated distribution network from ASPLA manufacturing base in Torre la Vega. Gregor has committed to creating diverse and innovative solutions to meet the growing demands of the market, particularly in terms of environmental consideration and the ecological compatibility of ASPLA products. Before starting the webinar, I would like to remind you that you can use the chat as much as you want. Uh, as you want. We will be uh, pending to answer. For questions, I will ask you to place them in the Q&A button, uh, Preguntas y Respuestas en Español, that has the Zoom platform. By using this Q&A uh, module uh, that you will see in the Zoom window, we will be able to organize the question more easy. I hope you enjoy and get some interesting facts from uh, today's presentation. All yours, Tim. Thank you, Carlos. Uh, welcome, everybody. I will start with an unexpected question. Do all roads lead to Rome when choosing an agricultural stretch film? Well, the, the question is unexpected, but the answer is really easy. The truth is that there is only one way to achieve perfect silage. We know that the main objective of the farmer is to achieve high performance and the best possible silage quality. So on this side, on this point, the agricultural film is not a simple packaging. This is like a device, okay, designed to establish and facilitate optimal conditions for biochemical transformation process. And all this to maintain these conditions throughout the, all the useful life of the bale. So what we can see that in the market, there are so many options of stretch film and uh, we don't know what to choose. Well, Let's take a closer look at the topic and get a better understanding for that optimal selection. Well, I have chosen some important considerations for this point, and I have a diagram where in the corner we have the most important things. Of course, the environment, the ecological side of the issue, the durability of the film, and the memory that uh, Gregor will introduce you later. The fermentation process, that means the preservation of the silage. The price, of course, always is on the scene. 
operation, which means the mechanical characteristics of the film, and the performance on the field. Here on the all mm, biochemical fermentation process, the important thing is that all the process takes 21 days. And the most important is the first phase. This should be as short the better. Okay, in, in this situation, what we have is aerobic bacteria, which is eliminating all the oxygen and uh, creating the CO2, which is like a fridge conserving all the silage. After the 21 days, it is important also the stockage of the bales. And that means that the films should resist, resist any conditions. So, the storage conditions can be different. We can use the round bales, the square bales, the round bales with its convex shape are more like better for the forces, is the ideal forces. But uh, the um, square bales are used also because like better for the storage because it's like square and it's very uh, easy, but it is very demanding. We will see it later in which consists that uh, demanding forces. So with the weather protection, of course, when uh, when we have a storage outside, it is important to take account that there can be hot weather with high UV uh, sunlight. It can be freezing. It can be windy. Uh, there is a rain and uh, the water can enter to the bales. So, what, so we, we are taking in account all these conditions. Of course, there is a different performance depending on the wrapping process and on the machines that we're using. For example, if we are using the mantle film, it is uh, very important the high holding forces. Not so important by the other side, the UV stabilization, because then we are going to have another layer of agricultural stretch film, which is the one that is holding that power, okay? And in the line machine, we are holding we are using the holding power and it has its properties and uh, this one I'm so not so demanding in terms of shape of course in the corners and the most demanding machine is the square with high uh, speed this uh, one we should consider the holding power the elasticity the tear stretch and dynamic impact it is all high demanding in the corners and of course the high adhesive properties. And the uh, last one is the combi, of course, also very demanding. So all this means that there is a high stress properties against strong mechanical loads. So what is the difference between a good wrapping process and a not so good? We can see this in the picture. And the first point that I see here is that it is not a good stockage. I mean, the, the good bale should be positioned in the base because on the base we have 24 layers. If we apply like six layers, the standard recommendation. And on the sides we have only six. So it is important to make a good position. That's the first point. Then of course, uh, taking in account uh, the tails. That means that uh, they are not a good adhesive properties. Uh, then I can see that all the shape, the form of the bale uh, on the black one side is is not like a good holding power, and that means that the CO two can go out and O two can go into the bale, which is not good, and it's stopping all the fermentation process that have been done already and cannot conserve well. So water can enter and effluent can go out. And my question is, Gregor, why is this happening and uh, how, it is, how it could be explained? Yes, thank you very much for your detailed introduction and the approach regarding the, all the problems and the, and the problem definitions in general. And as we have here at Heidelman, um, must be met in a relative harsh world over a very, very long period of time. It is easy to understand that we are really not speaking about only a packaging system. It's really a more a device than that. Yeah. So uh, we need we need a film that has to fulfill many properties 
in a high level in order to achieve the best possible ceiling properties at any time and at any conditions, let's say, like you indicated also before. How we can approach this? And the, the first question is how we can get this, all this, what is uh, required finally. How it is, it is works in the package, yeah? Let's start and take a look at the bill construction at first to understand how it what is going on and making maybe some analytic considerations like here. So, so we start with a bail and um, we need, need to understand what is a bail or finally. We, it's normally everyone knows it perfectly, but we know that the bail consists of individual segments. The pre, uh, uh, wrapping process puts this together 50 percent overlap. You know, that's in the model also in the same way, wise showed. And uh, where it's a completely closed space. Yeah, like you indicated before, a hermetic room. Yeah, that's one hundred the most important thing of all. The cohesion or the I would say maybe another word for it, the togetherness of the base strips is generated by the holding power. Yeah, the power from all sides. You see it also here in the model. That is a sum of all the FNs, the normal forces from the different layers. We see also here that these forces, both forces, the normal forces, which is generated by the tunnels forces, by the trapper, uh, and works together with the uh, inner force, which is the bail counter force. Yeah? And now we see in the model that's very important to understand that air pockets, when you produce the bail and you put air pockets in it, you have not pressed it enough, 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 and it's not really firm and not hard enough. During the fermentation with this uh, mess, sloppy mess, I will say, or wobbly a little bit, and uh, it has also not the resistance finally, You're, it is falling in, yeah, it's falling in and relaxed finally. So this loses, produced also a flabby or floppy uh, wrapping and that in very short time. I mean, the, the fermentation process is uh, starting after one, two days. Uh, it is from the beginning may, may, maybe, and you have this loses directly from that time. So the farmer, please take care that the bales have to be very compact and very good made. On our side, when we see on the model very quite of good that there is a relationship between the tunnels forces and the normal forces over the angel function. And uh, we speak especially about cosinus. Yeah, you see the, the, the angel is here. So if we have a, um, acute angel, which is indicating a small ball, yeah? So it is more like in this direction oriented. Of course, the force is more effective and higher. When we have a acute, acute angel, it is more like for the square bills. And it's easy to understand the surface are not pronounced or the convex surface are not so extremely pronounced like in the uh, in one pair. That makes a big difference in, in the end. And that is also the reason why we have minimum two or three layer put more on the surface. I mean, in one page, we are wrapping six time, six layer. In six layer, uh, we recommend to wrap minimum six layer on the surface, uh, surface and on the square, but it's minimum eight up to, I will say, minimum eight. Why that? Because of the normal forces, yeah, they are lower, definitely. And we need to work against this. How we can get it easily do it through the labyrinth. You increase the labyrinth effect. Finally, you have also you find the best possible way to solve it. Now, how to understand? Because the normal for the, the process is not generated by the machine directly. It is a reaction from the from the material. Uh, if a material is harder, I will show you as that's in diagram here. Um, if a ma material is stronger, uh, evidently we get also higher, higher, higher holding power. It's a materialist 
not so strong, we get losses due, in that case, due to the glucosidin rate. I will explain it afterwards a little bit, but how it's how we charge it. So let me share maybe plumbing. We start to load the process. So we start to load, we have 10 percent stretch, 20 percent, 35 to 60, something like here. Now at that place, the elastic deformation, that means in that area, uh, the, pl the plastic is working like expander when you have it also in the, in the gym. So it comes back to the same uh, starting point where, where, where you start. Then from here out, we plastify. This plastification is very important because you get you fit to the shape of the belt and you tighten it up. And you and there is also slightly increasing also the stress in the material and definitely also like here the holding power. Yeah, stress is nothing more than holding power. Newton per millimeter square millimeter. When you take it. When you take away the ablation, it's easy to understand that you can speak about forces, yeah, holding power. When we have a small, a light, or better said, a not so strong material like cast film, for instance, it is more on bed blood. Yeah. One issue is when you stretched generally. You are increasing the, in, the, in the tension and you oscillate. Why you oscillate in the last moment? Because you have the, the angel velocity of the bail is the same, but not the circumferential velocity because you have corner. If we will have a bail, which will be a ball, absolutely the radius will be always the same, then it will be not in oscillating and it is oscillating. So it is very dangerous to be very close to the ultimate straight because if you oversize it a lot bit yeah then you bring some weak yeah, some you damage pre-damage the made material and why i tell it to you it is very important to see also the recommendation from the from the producer and check always the width of the stretch film best on the base uh, and for 750 films it's something like 600 and for 50 hundred uh, films is something like 400 yeah from my side i spoke to you also before that we are have get loses due to the crystallization rate that's important to understand this is a graph what is more cast film this is a graph was a graph what is more blown film you understand maybe when you are in the topic we will explain it afterwards in the next slide Another issue what we have to understand and to get in mind is plastics, or better say thermoplastics, we speak, because when you speak about duoplastics, it's not the case. But by thermoplastics, we have a creep or relaxing effect over the time under long-term stress. Thermoplasts are uh, products, or better say, they are um, viscoelastics, viscoelastic. When you're poly, poly, polyethylene is viscoelastic material, you have two words inside. Visco is something like viscosity. It's come from the liquid. So this, they have no cohesion forces between them. They have no relation between the, the formation. And elasticity is okay. Elasticity is good because we need it for to storing the material. But when we are uh, when we have a long-term stress influ influence, this stress is pro producing something what is not required for us. That's also the reason because the consequent when, when we uh, give over this information and speak, you remember the slide before from before, the consequence is, or the uh, consequently, the holding forces decrease over the time. That is the, re uh, that is the effect from creeping processes in plastics or thermoplasts. And the relation, or better said, um, principle for that, it is a physical well-known law nearly, the higher the crystallization grade or the crystallization level, the smaller the loses in the material tension. Yeah? 
blown film. I will give some in, in information in advance in that case. Blown film have better memory than cast film. I mean, we will see it why. Because we have to go and go deeper in the material and, and maybe look with a microscope to see the difference and, and to understand what is going on. Here's a light microscope picture. That is a real picture from the polyethylene. You can recognize the spherulit, uh, spherulitic uh, cells, yeah? I will say it. It is the bulk of yeah, lamels. What is a lamel fine? It's a crystal block. That's the same. This, what you see here, is this part. And this, what you see here, is the amorph part. And uh, maybe I forget not to explain you before also what is a molecule chain. The molecule chain is a combination of carbon and hydrogen um, atoms. And it has a length, standard length of something like 1,000, 2,000 atoms together. And it is simplified in a slide here, uh, designed like here to show what is the arm of structure and what is the crystalline structure. And we know from the science that quick uh, cooling effects produce a morph structure. Slow cooling, crystal blocks. Why it is like it is? <laughs> it's also easy to understand. I will show it in, the, in this picture. You need time for to find the optimal formation. You see the cluster here. It is something what comes together and need time to find each other. Here they are not really, not really um, ready. And when it happens, it happens when it comes from the melted state. I mean, when it's liquid and you cool it down, they need to find the formation. And it's similar to the water. When you take out the, the, the lever, uh, uh, lavatory from the, from the wash machine and you put it through it in the in a, in a water, Close the door, ready. No, that is a more of structure. That is not really necessary. So my wife is coming and so come on, Gregor, take it out from the from the wardrobe, make it final. So Gregor, they start once more again. And I run and fold it together. That is a crystal block, finally. That is a structure which is aligned at the order. You see the parallel system is very close together, very compact. The arm of is really something like a frozen state from the liquid yeah, status, aggregate states. The difference between the chains are far uh, more um, are higher. Here are the distance very close together. And imagine, you imagine maybe from the physical lessons, when you take some Two, imant, uh, two, uh, two magnets to get, uh, together, plus and minus, of course. If it's, it's plus and plus, it will uh, absorb the affinity you get with plus and minus. The same happens with the change here, the same effects. The interconnection forces are electromagnetic forces or magnetic forces. The Coulomb law behind or the principle, as, as closer they are together, more force you will have. And if, of course, if you have a very good organized system, more interconnections, relationships you can get in this structure. Polyethylene have something like 40%. Make a, I will show it like this. You see all the white surfaces here in the microscope are the amorph areas because they are not so much atom together. They are not so close together. No, the compact effect. And all the black, yeah, black surfaces areas are crystal, uh, crystalline. They are the lemmas, slats, you can name it like you want, the crystal blocks. And these are much harder, much stronger. And that is the, the structure of the material in the end. And that is the effect of the crystallicity finally. You have it also in this diagram. That is exactly for, from, for a polyethylene diagram, cooled, slow cooled uh, 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 polyethylene have something like 40% uh, 
in crystallity, quick or quench, um, quick uh, cooling or quenching have something up to zero. Yes, it can be very amorphous. And the result is like this. If the crystallization is very high, you have a very strength, strong and stiff material. Optical opaque, easy to understand because the loose are not come seen through the high density. Yeah, that's the reason why. And there's a, it's also the same reason that the permeability is much better. What I said, I would say it's impermeability much better. The, the permeability, of course, is less. Yeah. So the atoms, oxygen atoms, cannot come through the material. And that is because of this. Oh, here's a mistake I see at this moment. It has to be smaller inter, uh, interchain distance and stronger intermolecular forces. That's the reason why. The less solubility is also the, the easiest of the stronger intermolecular forces. Now, we transpass all the knowledge and we think about the manufacturing processes in compression. So fine. See so at this, we have in the, today we have two processes to build up or for, uh, to, to shape plastic film. The year one is the, for the quality process, for, for the quality products are normally the blown film projected. Why is it like, like it is? It is because we cool it down with air. That is a ring die. You see it also at that place. Here you see a tube inside. It's the same thing what we have here. And you see a big pipe, which is expanding. When it's coming from the die, it is uh, like honey. I would say honey-like. Yeah? It really has this consistency. It is really wickling. And the pressure from inside and the airflow from outside, it's cooling down this material. Re try it to the solidification or it's crystal recrystallize and at the same time the expansion expansion is happening so the pre-orientation of the limits what we had before yeah this is pre-oriented so that makes a big difference finally because you have two positive effects cool slower at the same time pre-oriented pre -oriented, b directional the offer of that is much higher holding power, less loses in memory because of the high crystallization rate. Very good mechanical pro pro uh, uh, properties, axial, B axial, two dimensional, uh, two dimensional expansion process enable a uniform thickness. And also because it is not bounded to a surface. I mean, when we compare it to cast, this, this, uh, this honey. Uh, like a resin or, or um, resin which is honey like falling down on the wheel here in the cast film, and this is in contact with the wheel. Here is this contact only with the air, so it is free to, to for the movements and enable therefore the more uniform thickness uh, at every place in the in, 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 in the tube. Cooling down time are significantly longer and and promote higher crystallization rates. That's I think finally the same what we saw before. That is also the reason for the lower permeability due to the density packaging. One issue is bad. That is why I have not marked in fat. Output per man uh, hour lower makes the process more expensive, definitively. Yeah. But when you see about the offers, or better said, of the advent for of the big advantage what we have here i mean that is the issue of investment and the output you will get anyway when the product is good when you have a very good tool you can get some better final product and for the farmer the final product is not the film for the farmer is the final product a good silage so it is the easy relative issue if it's expensive or not expensive. i mean for the process is more expensive. yes for the pro production process for the film Custom is everything up uh, the, uh, on, the, on the other side. It is the cheapest method of production. It's very fast. Why it is very fast? Because the cooling downtime can be is required very fast to make because of the high one wheel and the water cooling what is in, in here inside. And of course, this melted 
plastic or resin is cooled down on and solidified completely on this wheel. And then some wheels after, it will be stretched, but it is not stretched during the solid solidification. It is stretched in a heart. I mean, in a solid uh, uh, afterwards, the, after the crystallization rate. And that make also the big difference be, between this mechanical characteristics. Uh, thickness difference much higher because it's bounded and the, 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 the stretching process is in hard. I mean, it's solid. Quenching, fast cooling, lower level of crystallization means less inter, uh, interaction between molecule change. Additionally, lower mechanical processes due to the single orientation of the molecular chain. Yes, you have only one direction. You cannot stretch bidirectional. Higher permeability, because it is not so compact. It is quenching, fast cooled. So the distance is frozen from the melted, from the melted uh, resine and the distance between the chains is much higher. So the, 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 the molecules of air and or other gases like CO2 can go easier through the material out and the oxygen can easier pull the material in. So in the end, we have to say the blown film for the applica agriculture application is the unit film what you have to choose. All the rest is something like, I mean, say, not proper made. No? Then another influence, influence of the layer on the manufacturing process. Yes, it has influence. I mean, three layers was is old fashion. Issue, it was in the past good, standard. Now we speak five is standard, seven layers is okay, is, uh, is for premium. Much more is maybe not necessary, why? And uh, at first maybe I uh, I show you how it's a layer, how it's, uh, what is be behind the layers. I mean, you have the possibility to put different type of granulate inside the, the, the die, ring die. And then it is expanding or recrystallizing in that way, in, in that area. Do you have an expanded combination options with more layers? And on other side, you have a big advantage also that the tolerance wage, because of the smaller or near slot bring advantages in the tolerance rate. So in I mean, in the thickness and also not only in the geometric wise, it is also regarding the crystallization, it's better mixed. So the difference is recognized. Here you see the red line as Zenos, that is a circumferential comparison of the thickness and also of the structure is different. So it is, the tolerance is higher by three layers, slightly lower by, or better, much lower by five layer and slightly lower by seven layer. I mean, I think it's easy to understand that it is approximating. If you have nine or 10 layer or 20 layer, you will not really improve that wise. And, um, but the most important thing is uh, how to explain it. When you, uh, in ASPLA, we have thought, thought doing more time how to optimize, and we have also uh, always in mind how to optimize the film also in in thickness maybe so we have to think in that way invert or invest in in good machines with more layer to have more possibility to optimize the process and when you have more options of course you can uh, optimize the process for instance a type 4 could be a better barrier film or something like like a, bar, a barrier film inside or more close to that from the structure wise then this could be something like which is uh, having a lot force and uh, the last run or the load run this is the outer layer of the bale have to be very protected against uv and glossy and and, and not sticky because the grapper have not to stick on that and on the inner side where the glue is we have the possibility, and normally it's a bl all the bl blown film, which is a quality blown film, is a, a glue type system which is embedded 
inside some materials. So that is a sprung effect. And the idea is behind when you stretch the film, the glue is coming out, like from a sponge when you have water inside absorbed and you, you pressed on it or you stretch it, the water is coming out. That's a big advantage regarding the maintain to maintain the, the, the stretching device clean. And on the other hand, you have also the possibility to accumulate the glue concentration and the glue you need for the long term storage because we have a creeping effect in the material and you have to work against this creeping effect or the, or the relaxing effect of the material. So you need the glue there. There are two different types of glues also, which is placed on the surface. My, most is a custom application uh, of Rorusa used this, this type of glue system, but it is not working perfectly because when you stretch the surface or stretch the film, the surface is also expanding. And all the pigments, like when when they put like paint on the on the surface, are spreading, and then and the concentration is not so high, and that is exactly the opposite issue what we need. So uh, easy to understand that is really when you have a blown film, you need also paper, viscose, embedded inside the material. And the last thing is, I spoke to you also when you have, it's easy to understand, you see also when you see one, two, three, seven, and when you have 25 microns here, you can imagine that this, uh, the half, the slot of the, of the injector is a half width, have a half width or what is it, half size. And that is a positive effect regarding the orientation of the lemmas. You see also the black yeah, lines, they are like yeah, obstacles to see, but exactly 90 degrees oriented to the direction of the fusion. And that have also the effect that is increasing slightly the um, in, impermeability. To take it together, finally, two additional layers significantly increase in mechanical properties polymer distribution and housed molecular orientation, more uniform, what you can see also here. Five and three, seven layer things improve film, uh, film quality. Aspla, I mean, Aspla is a company which is in this topic very long. I mean, the plastic production or the film production is more than 30 years. On, we are more than 30 years on the market with that. We have a lot of experience. Now, a day, we are producing in a, more than 40,000 tons per year on only stretch film, agri stretch film. And our machinery is one of the biggest and the newest updated uh, last state art of machines in the market with a biggest volume in seven layer machines. Why we choose this option for the seven layers so 15 years ago maybe, in a big quantity is because of the echo conscience as a part of the value. Aspen generally was priorizing the quality from the beginning and operates with an echo conscious mindset while maintaining but always, always oriented and while maintaining functionality. We have not the idea to reduce this cross section of the film and forget the functionality. So everything what I told you before is for us, but like an amen in the church, it's absolutely a must, yes? And then the cross section because of optimization in the molecule or in the, in the, in the film can be achieved. So. It is a, it is you. It is a package of all what make us successful in the in in that area, and uh, we have a lot of experience in that. And I think that is a unique way how to achieve uh, at first from us as a plastic producer the best product, but it, in in the sense for the farmer, it have to be more or less the same. I mean, when you pay attention on quality and and folk absolutely on the maintaining the functionality and answer with characteristics of the material, exactly what the application need. 
then you are really on the right way. That is also the answer to the question because there is only one way. Choose quality, please do it. Then you will have really a perfect, perfect silage. And uh, the most important thing, the insurance for the total year, I mean, you give the guarantee that the storage of the silage will withstand without anything one year. You will see always the difference between the stretch films in the longer term, not in five, three or four months. Because they, you see also in the market some, some comparison and they make the test after two, three months. I mean, two, three months, the films are one year sometimes on the field. And that have also to withstand. And that is a big difference between the cheap films and a good conception of good function functionality of good films, quality films, which have a lot of experience and a good reputation, be based on the reputation of, of, the, of the producers. Aspla is one of them, which could, belongs to the best producer in the world regarding this process and uh, this product. So I would like to give over to Lesia at this moment, because from my side, I've spoken so much that you maybe are boring a little bit now. Lesia, you are on the line. I'm here, Gregor. Thank you. It was amazing. Uh, a lot of knowledge. I think everyone will apply. And me coming just to summarize uh, a last point. Here I come to compare the high quality film and the low quality film. So just to point that the difference is around like 1-2% of the total value per bale. Okay, in terms of cost, but the cost of losses, if you choose bad, will be much more higher. So here is the, the right choice of everyone and uh, well, make a good choice. Thank you, Tim, for the for presentation. Uh, and now it's time to, to answer the, the different question. Okay, um, let's start with Olga Kukba. Uh, that, uh, who asked us uh, if we can explain about the black color uh, yes. stretch film and uh, does color matter during ensiling? Yeah, I mean, there is a different opinion in the market regarding this. I mean, the technical opinion is also very easily to understand. You know that plastic expands generally by, by temperature and that is nothing more than the distance uh, between the molecule chains are expanding also, so it's wider. So it is easy to understand that black film have a little bit slightly, but uh, we speak also the white film is also expanding by temperature, by higher temperature, that is uh, uh, independent of the color. But we know that black color is a little bit, or the darker color. I mean, the difference between dark green and black is not so extremely high. And how you can, um, how we can understand how it, how it is working. I mean, in, in Spain, we have 90% in black and Spain is very warm cl uh, climate, climatic uh, country, but it is also mostly close to the coast. So the explaining is very easy. When you have a lot of wind and then the sun have not so a big impact of the temperature in the, on the, in the plastic, and uh, then the, then you have also the convection cooling on the plastic. And in that wise, the plastic is not rising or expanding so much. And the permeability is uh, not going really worst. When you put also the black belt in a shadow, you have also not big problems of course. Another issue is when you wrap one layer over, you have also not a big problem. The blue black plastic have one positive effect, it's more stable against sun because of cardboard. Cardboard is a very um, solid product. It's, it's not degrading uh, much and uh, black carbon, yeah, you know, it uh, it's comes together, it works together. And uh, uh, the big difference is one issue. We spoke, especially in, in, in the Nordic countries, in Scandinavian markets, there's the issue, they have a big problem with birds. And I mean, birds are looking for fodder in a, in, a, in a winter, of course. 
when it's very snowy in, in, in Spain, there is no snow, maybe in the mountains, but not in, uh, on, uh, in, in, in valleys. And uh, the birds have one issue, they can recognize contrast. They don't see the colors, but uh, the issue is when you have white pale, and that is the issue what I na named the, the, the effect is wet t-shirt effect. I mean, it is more not so opaque. Black color is not so opaque like white color, and the grass was is inside is recognized by the by the birds like fauna, and they try to pick it. And that is yes, we make some some uh, examination, and also we have spoken with different opinions of farmers, and they believe really that the black color is protecting the 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 attack of uh, against birds. And that's the reason because the birds have not a good uh, possibility. They see contrast and they don't see the warmth, but they see contrast and they think that uh, on the when it's in a white color and the light color, that the that the that the warm is on the packet and they don't see it and they pick it. So that's that's the reason what I would say. That is the difference between black and white. Thanks uh, for your help, uh, Gregor. Um, okay, uh, Jose Fernandez asked uh, for a square bells. There should be a play in any special film. Okay, if you want, I can ask for that one yes, question. Okay. Yeah. okay, for the square base, as I also said, it is very demanding product, you know, with this, uh, with the, with the corners and depending what is uh, inside, what kind of herb is inside, it also depends. So. If we go for the standard forms and the demanding uh, shape and the corners, then I would recommend the film which will support uh, all the extreme applications. So here we should go to the seven layer film production, blown of course, and uh, recommend a 25 macro. So um, from our range, we have uh, like a uh, highly extreme film with, um, with the highest properties and uh, uh, all the consideration of mechanical high properties, this would be a uh, super grass film. Mm -hmm. Okay. Maybe Thank one you. issue, we have several additions because we have different ways to protect this. Of course, uh, the, 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 the square bits have one difficulty that is they bring a very high stress and you have really premium products. Do uh, you need premium products for that? We have also, the, we have a, um, a cycle product uh, or a recycling product also introduced in the market. Newest, uh, this is a cycle crop, which is working absolutely perfectly. Uh, also with the square bills, and then we have additionally also one product which is absolutely premium. It is one of the most uh, strongest uh, film and chief also to work uh, with uh, with a 22 microns, but on square bills, which is just not maybe so, ex the, the situation is when you have square bills with alfalfa, where the, where the material is very hard and stiff and very, and uh, have an um, extreme, yeah, hard corners, then it is always better, like uh, Lesia told it, with 25 microns, super grass in that case. And uh, when it's not so extremely hard, when it's more soft, then you can you choose really also the seven, uh, the, 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 the seven, it's the name of the product. And this has 22 microns and it works without anything and very proper for also for the square bill application. Okay. Thank you. Um, uh, we'll... Which could be the difference between uh, from 25 uh, microns film and the thinner one? Like that you me. If you want, go on. <laughs> yeah, come on. The 22 micron film have, when it's good made, and when you have also these properties inside, or you compensate this weaknesses of the uh, cross-section reduction, with better materials, and you increase uh, yeah, this, the, the stress uh, uh, properties in the material, then it is absolutely by for the by round plate application, no difference. Yeah, it works absolute perfect on uh, without any problem, like in the same way, like the 
one bit. With a positive effect that you are more ecologic and at the same time more um, dependent on the situation, but you save costs also. Price per meter is have to be calculated at that moment, then you can choose what you want. And the, the, the 22 micron film have a big advantage. It's not so stiff like the 25 microns. It is easy to understand. I make, the, I make always a comparison with a method metaphor with a, with a glove, yeah? gummy glove and a latex glove. The latex glove is from, 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 from the basis out thinner and it is harder to put it on the hand. Yeah? That same happens with, uh, with an overlapping, overlapping system. The normal forces, although they are maybe a little bit slightly less, they are have easier to conform and to press these layers together. And you see it's an overlapping, overlapping joint area much better uh, with a thinner film than with a thicker film. This is something of a, of a, of a yeah that is less rigid than the 25 microns. On the other hand, yes, of course, we can speak about the permeability. It could be that is slightly worse when you are not introducing the white material inside. You remember the yellow, the yellow middle layer. I spoke it before, maybe not so precisely. This layer has the possibility to, we can put, uh, put something inside what is really have close to a barrier effect. Uh, 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 make a barrier effect, and then you improve the permeability also from that side. So we have not to be really uh, worry about this. On the other side, for square bills, standard buses, when it's not the seven layer, it's, a, it's the seven, the product seven, what we have, it is maybe not the best product because the cor corner are so, so extremely pronounced that it's getting too thin on the corner. And uh, that's maybe the difference, yeah, I would say. Okay, thank you, Gregor. Um, William Wilson from Stop Agri asked yes. uh, if the future going to be more layers or is five, seven layers likely to be the optimum? That's dependent on the application. I mean, in the agriculture, in the agriculture application stretch, that is more than enough the seven layer. You don't need more. We have covered all our needs. When you speak about, about food packaging, that's another issue. There you put sometimes also micro silver inside to reduce the, the folds and, on, and the, and the Fujis and, and, and all the problems what you have also that, the, that they can contaminate finally from, from, from other possibilities that is absolutely different requirements on the films there is uh, of course and these products are sometimes when you put for the for the food production is sometimes much more expensive you know? mm -hmm. and um, and but for the agriculture it's absolutely not necessary with seven layer you have enough potential to cover all the needs what you need okay Thank you, Gregor. Uh, Wilhelm uh, Jensen um, say that most question uh, they receive from farmers is about white mold. What can be the cause of what? the uh, white mold? Okay. Okay. Uh, what can be the cause uh, the cause of the white mold and how to prevent eventually? Uh, at, at, the first, uh, at the first, at the first, Fujis and mold. Have, uh, had one problem when the for instance when the grass is extremely dry hmm. you have not enough humidity and you need to put some additives to initially say it's a fermentation the fermentation or what is say it's a, the 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 we need to reduce the oxygen inside we need to use we have to absorb the oxygen and eliminate it and bring a CO2 atmosphere inside. That is how we conserve it doing them all the time. And we have to keep in the bale this CO2. It has not to go out. And the oxygen has not to go to in. 
go in. And uh, two whys. At first, make really compact, firm bales. Remember what I told you with the yellow arrow. Absolutely important to avoid air pockets inside. That's the first thing. Then the humidity of the grass have be mm, enough, high enough. If not, please put something additives inside to, to produce better fermentation. I mean, uh, if this guy can send me a, a something more per mail, I can give him some uh, lecture or some, some additional information. It is a lot of other aspects what we have of to course, respect. Yeah. And okay. I would prefer to, to answer him per mail and give him all the information and uh, the knowledge what he needs maybe to improve also the, 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 the bailing process. Okay. Or whether it's a silicon process. Yeah, perfect. Um, what is our top range uh, silage grab designed for big square bales of highlights? Yes, again, I think the one that is the high performance is one with the seven layer and uh, the 25 microns production. So the super grass will be uh, the one uh, that should go and would go great with uh, that kind of uh, bales. Yes. Okay. Absolutely okay. correct. Yes. Thank you. Uh, Ivar's uh, latest uh, says that if uh, if I understood uh, correct, for Nordic, better uh, black. Depend. It's correct. Depend on. Oh, okay. You need to understand in the Nordic countries, there are two seasons. 24 hours day and 24 hours night. That make also sometimes a difficult, the situation difficult. You can use black fam always when you have a lot of windy weather. Then the plastic is cooling down. They have a convection cooling system, yeah, like in the radiator. Yeah? So you need wind. Then it is never, never getting warmer and warmer inside and and not only inside it is not getting going warmer on the surface and the plastic is not growing uh, one issue is the material is opaque the black film and that has also a positive effect that the radiation is not so high inner there so it is it is a mix of all you can't use it without anything problems by windy weather, by by when it's not placed in a very closed area, continental area. I mean, on the island, perfect idea to use to, uh, black. On uh, on the mountains where it's a lot of wind, perfect idea because the UV stabilization is also better based directly on the situation that you have that you have more carbon inside and that is more stable against, against uh, 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 degradation. And also in the Nordic countries, you have always uh, the big problem of birds, yeah. Mm -hmm. And um, I can give you an example in Finland. We have also, yeah, selling a lot of black fern. So that is the issue. Take your own opinion, make your own test, and maybe you can write me also back uh, you, and uh, describe me your experience. That is what I can tell you. I mean, there's a sense behind, yeah. And if maybe some other addition for a question you will have. Please uh, uh, give me also the mails and I try to be more precisely because in a short period of time, it is very not so easy to put everything in a nutshell. Yeah? Okay. Um, another one. Um, Raman, uh, Raman Selsky asked if a person uh, can, by, by eyes or hands, Distinct uh, three layers film from from five layer or seven layer. No, I don't. Uh, I don't if, understand the, the, the if, uh, if what he means person, meaning with which if person. A, if a person, normal person, a man uh, can yes. be uh, distinct by eye, by eyes or hands. No, uh, you have no. to cut it out the segment of the bear yeah. and split it away. I mean, count the layers. How many layers they have? Ah no, you think me in a in a in one me uh, membrane in one yeah. yeah yeah if you can distinguish with an electron uh, electron microscope maybe you can find it yes mm. electron microscope and oh. with some special yeah installations but it is really really difficult to find out the exact 
quantity of layers, but uh, special persons, yes, we can. They can do it. Yes, you yeah. show my 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 pictures from the from the uh, structure. Yeah. yeah? So uh, yeah. that is possible to find out, but not all the laboratories can do that. You need yeah. an electron microscope for that. Okay. Um, Alonso Zamora eh, nos pregunta en español. Eh, ¿cuál es el color del film ideal en un país como Costa Rica, de clima un poco Costa más Rica. tropical y unas condiciones más húmedas? Depende, esto depende. No, la humedad no tiene tanta importancia en este caso. Es depende, si tiene muy alta temperatura, una radiación directa al, a la paca, si lo pone por debajo de los árboles puede trabajar tranquilamente con, con, temperatura, eh, con colores más oscuras. Y si no, yo digo... El blanco es también interesante. I mean, eh, es, es un poco más caro, pero evidentemente el blanco tiene un efecto positivo que, que eh, da una reflexión muy grande y el plástico en sí mismo no se calienta tanto. Si lo controlas con el viento y no, o no lo controlas, I mean, donde los campos están sin viento, con un calentamiento de, la, de mucho calor, uh -huh. <coughs> entonces... Eh, yo pondría mm, calor, eh, eh, colores más claras, pero si tienes co co eh, situaciones calientes, pero no con una, con una radiación extremadamente muy alta, sin problemas. Eh, las Aunque haya humedad oscuras. y todo. Humedad no tiene importancia. No, no en tiene importancia. Caso, no. Bueno. Another. Uh, Benny Wildon uh, ask uh, next question. The question about silage quality. Improve by thinner films as they do need leak air as they do not leak. No. Yeah, um, I mean, uh, it could be, of course, it's great. Uh, 22 microns, uh, 21 can be a better adhesive in terms of being a thinner film. But of course, it depends a lot of, of uh, weather conditions on the uh, silage that is inside. So. I recommend to make a consultation uh, with the manufacturer and uh, both sides uh, will find uh, uh, the best film for the um, application that is uh, that is being used. That is my recommendation because, yeah, every film works different uh, with different conditions. Okay. Thank you, Lesia. Um, the last one. Uh, to make high density bales, Would you suggest fixed chamber bailer or variable no, chamber vario, bailer? No, vario. Vario have a big advantage that you compact it from the inner side to outer side. Yeah. No. Therefore, you will have definitely better. Um, yeah, it's more compact. When you're constant, you fill it up, but you make a pressure from outer side, and that the gradient to in to uh, there's a smooth gradient. To be more smooth inside, so more in more air, air, air is inside. When you uh, have a vario, you compact it from inner to outer side, more or less regular. This is all. Uh, yes. Thanks, uh, you, Lesia and Gregor, for for this amazing webinar, uh, yes. and thanks to you for your participation. Uh, see you in the next Agriplastic Community webinar, and. And thanks for participating. Okay. Yeah, thank you very much, Carlos. And all, all to you, which was interesting. Thank you, everyone. And uh, it was great to have you here. A pleasure. And uh, see you in the following webinar. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.